how to create a landing page or a coming soon page on Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can create a landing page on Wix. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on my Wix dashboard and over here you can see all of the websites that I have created. But currently I only have one website and it's already a landing page. So let me just show you how you can create one. This is just a template. It's not a real one. So let me show you how you can create a landing page for your website or a coming soon page, right? So if you're wondering why you would need to do that, well, let's say you're working on a website and, you know, people are coming onto your website and they're reporting that, you know, it's buggy or something is happening or stuff like that. But that's only because you're still working on your website. It's not finalized, right? So what you'll do is you'll create a landing page that can help people know that it's not a complete website. It's still in progress. So let me just skip all of these questions or these features and let me just simply come into the template section over here find a template that we can edit and let me just show you so over here we have all these different templates let me just switch to all templates all right here we go so as you can see these are all the templates available and let's just take any website you know let's take uh this website right here right let's take this website let me just open it up in another tab and over here this is how it looks like yeah we can go ahead and edit this website out right so let's go ahead and edit this site all right let's just take this website as an example let's say that this website is our website and we want to create a landing page for it so over here the editor is going to load up so give it a couple of seconds all right so this is the editor right here as you can see this is how it looks like and over here on the left hand side you have your main options right now how do you create a landing page or a coming soon page right and how do you password protect it as well so i'm going to show you all of that so over here on the left hand side you just simply click on menus and pages right and over here you can see all of the pages that are available on your website and these pages that have the crossed icon that indicates that this page is hidden so we have to go ahead and show it you know if you want to hide the page you can hide them if you want to show the page you can show them but basically these are all the pages that are available now over here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a new page so we're going to add a blank page for this and now it's going to add a blank page with the background and the header and the footer but we don't want this so i'll basically just name this page for now a coming soon page right here and click on enter there we go now this is how it looks like now we don't want the header and footer all right even if we make this our landing page the header and footer are going to be over there and people are just going to go ahead and you know click on these icons and they're going to be able to access the website you could go ahead and delete them but there's another easier way to do that just simply come over here onto your menus and pages all right i'll just move this up at the top and click on these three icons and we have to first make this one as the home page so whenever someone comes on to our site they enter in our domain name they're going to be taken over here this is going to be the first page right not the menu page not the home page this is the page that they're going to be arriving on so what we'll do now is click on the three dots go into settings and over here we have layouts permission and all of that so what we'll do is we'll click on the layout option and over here we have the standard layout and no header or footer so we're going to choose this option this is going to eliminate the header and footer option as you can see over here so yeah this is how it looks like now what we can do is we can go ahead and edit this out so this let me just adjust the size of it as well let me just make it a full length here we go this looks much better now we can go ahead and edit it out and turn it into our landing page or coming soon page so what we'll do is we'll just simply click on change background over here and we'll change uh, the background to an image or a color like this one right here i like this image as well this is like a moving texture type of image you could go with this one or you can find your own one if you just simply click on the video option right here right it's going to open up a bunch of different options you could choose an image as well as a background it all depends on you or you could choose a video i personally like videos you know they like it's just more fun and easier like this video right here you could set up this one or maybe this one as well or this one it's just man walking like these ones as well you could turn these videos up and you can turn them into a looping video and they just look more aesthetically pleasing right so let's go ahead and search for one let's say in progress so you could go ahead and find images over here from wix or you can upload your own media as well i basically like to upload my own media so for that i usually go over here onto pixels and over here as you can see we have a bunch of different loading screens that we can actually go ahead and upload and so 
that area like this one right here this one would look good and you know because it's still in progress the website is still in progress this would look pretty cool you could go with that one or you know you could go with some other ones as well like this one right here it all depends on you what i personally like is this one right here or the simple ones with the blue screen or purple screen or this one right here they all look great so what we can do is maybe we can use this one right so we'll just simply download this one right here we'll just simply click on free download and i'll download it as a 1080p and click on download here we go it's starting i'll just save it over there there we go now that it's downloaded what we can do now is we can come back over here upload our own media from our computer this was it it's loading up as you can see right here there we go this is it we'll just simply select it over here it's loading up there we go now we just simply click on change background and now our background is going to be changed into that form of video and if we play it this is how it looks like right we can even go into the settings of it we can add like a layout overlay to make it even better it depends on you you can make it darker or lighter you can add a specific overlay color as well like blue or white it all depends on you i feel like we don't need a color and we'll just keep it darker and for the speed i would like to you know slow it down a little bit like that and we can play it in a loop yes there we go and this is it so now we have this background set so let me actually save it there we go there we go now we can also go ahead and view it as well but we're still not complete so basically now what we need to do is we need to add a email type of letter or maybe like a a forms or subscription form so that people can subscribe to this page and then once it's loaded up we can send out an email to them later on so that they can be notified that the website is now live so for that click on the plus icon right here and scroll down and over here you will see uh, contacts and forms over here you will find the subscribe form right here and you can just simply enter in this one right here i basically like this one it it looks really nice looks really simple as well it's loading up there we go so as you can see I'll just simply pull it down over here. I'll place it right here. Nothing too crazy. I think this would look good. Now we could go ahead and change the color of it as well. It all depends on you. So basically we now we just publish it. Let's go ahead and view the site. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now the position is a little bit not ideal. So we'll just, you know, move it a little bit down as well. Move it even further down right here. Now we also need to change the design and the color of it as well so we'll customize it we'll just change the background color we'll change the color as well so for this one i think that more of a purple color would look much better like something like this one since the background is a little bit purple and we'll also make it a little bit transparent as well like this one 50 percent yeah that's good now we input the fields and we check the text color and we change the text color to white all of the text fields are going to be white now for this one i think this black would look much better black would look good and then yeah this one also black because this is the input number yeah and then for the thank you for subscribing one i'll also change the color to black or actually white and i'll make it bold there we go that looks nice now we just simply save it and if i come over here and i reload the page okay sorry now i just need to publish it as well now if i come over here and i reload the page we have a completely different look and i think this one looks much better and pretty simple this is it now how do you password protect it as well so again click on the menus and pages section click on this three dots and go into settings and over here you will see permissions and over here just select password holders and then just simply set a password and you are good to go that's how you password protect a page as well so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye